In this tutorial clip, we cover how to start writing your own Finch Java programs. Before you begin, make sure that you have a Java JDK installed and a Finch available. There are numerous IDEs available for the Java programmer. Today we will be using the NetBeans IDE. The steps are pretty similar for most IDEs, and we have created simple tutorials for almost all of them, available on our website. The first step is to download the appropriate package from finchrobot.com downloads. We're going to download NetBeans for Mac, and in our case, we'll unzip it to the desktop. And here it is. Inside the unzipped NetBeans Finch, Finch project folder, you'll see a source files directory, as well as licensing information and Java docs, and then the Finch Be Beans project directory that NetBeans needs. So we'll open NetBeans and we'll open the project in NetBeans by going to File, Open Project, and we'll navigate to the Finch Beans directory inside NetBeans Finch project. And there's two top-level directories. We want to open source packages to see uh, all of the example programs. And let's just run one of these examples. We'll run the search game by double-clicking on search game main. Um, this was written by a CMU freshman, and I think it does a very good... Um, it highlights uh, how you can use the Excel accelerometer on the Finch to create programs where the Finch is an input device. Uh, so to run this, we just go to run and run file. And of course, you need to have a Finch plugged in for it to successfully connect to the Finch. Here's the game. I'm going to go to the menu and start a game. This was all written by the student. Um, and you're trying to find hidden treasure inside the this screen by moving the red dot around. Let me close this up. Okay, so let's say that we want to write our own uh, Finch program. Well, to do that, uh, I like to start by creating just a new file. And create a Java class. Let's make a short dance. So let's say we want a test dance. And we probably don't want to put it in this package. Um, for now, let's just stick it in the code package. Finish that up. And in code, there's already a file called finch template file which is very helpful in that it gives us sort of a skeleton file to start with, with the correct import and um, the instantiation of the Finch object as well as uh, uh, the method that needs to be called when you exit the program. So let's just copy what's in main into here. In fact, let's copy all of main. And let's copy the import file as well. All right. Now, if you've read the Java doc, which again was in the um, uh, directory that was downloaded, you'll know that some of the methods used to control the finch are methods like set wheel velocities, set LED, say something. So we'll just create a very quick dance that has the finch move back and forth um, and maybe it'll say something funny. So let's start with my finch dot say something. Tweet, tweet. 
then we'll have it move forward at top speed so that's 255 255 for one second uh, let's set its beak so that the beak is red um, so we can either use a color object or we can just give straight RGB values so red is 255 green and blue are 0 and that then let's have it back up and turn a little bit while backing up. And let's have it do that for a second as well. Maybe it should set its LED to green. And let's just add a sleep so that we see the LED turn green. Okay. So we can save this file. Um, we've got an extra parenthesis. And let's run it. Go to run file. And that's it. If you've followed along so far, you've just written your first Finch program.